Good evening, Tai Chi students. This week, we're going to be refining some postures that we're working on in various sections of our forms. I'd like to begin with play the guitar technique. So I'm actually going to do it facing you first. I'm going to reach out, brush knee position. I'm going to step or reach out with the hand, right hand out, step up, and then I come up with the left, settle on the heel, heels of the hands settle together. So really think of the, 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 the hands and the heel all coming down at the same time. That's going to make that work really well for you and give you that, that synchronicity of, of, of hand and foot. So I reach out, step up, inhale, exhale. Now watch as my hands come up, I'll come up with my knee and my toe will point down. So just pay attention to the foot now. I reach out, step and then up on the toe, down on the heel. All right, now notice that my rear hand doesn't come down until my top hand starts to come down. In my end position, I want the fingertips pointed toward the forearm of the opposite hand. We'll do one, a more traditional position. Reach out. Toes up, heel down, and when I say heel down, that heel, these heels, all come down together, all right? We're gonna move on now to what we call Fair Lady Works the Shuttle. And so this would be, for our Purple Sash team, I would start from Golden Rooster position. So, that's gonna be left knee up, left hand up. So I step out with the left foot, I go to cross arm position, go to the corner, and then remember, push and shift forward. I'll flatten them out. Remember, cross arm position, block out, and then as you shift in, that's when the rotation begins. Okay, we'll do that again. So, golden rooster, I step, Cross. So this is real important. Notice that my feet are together, my arms are together. My arm goes out, my leg goes out. My hands push forward, my body shifts forward. So there's a lot of things lining up here. I flatten out as I shift back. Turn my waist, and now opposite. Feet in, hands in. Foot out, hand out. Body forward, hands forward. All right, now to take it from a more traditional position, I step, block, push, level out, block, push, okay. Now moving on for our newer black sashes, we're gonna go into the white crane sequence. So, after we repulse the monkey, remember now, through the center, fair lady, I'm sorry, uh, diagonal flying rather, all right? Now remember, we'll focus on the feet here from this direction. I'm gonna line my heels up, and then push in, lifting hands, just like the first section, left palm up, Come down, turn the body, white crane. Pushing down with the left and out with the right. Scrape down, cup the ear, brush knee, and push. So that is a duplication of movements we've done in the first section. Now I'm gonna turn and I'll do it facing the opposite way to give you a different view. So repulse the monkey through the middle Diagonal flying. Line the heels up. Remember, right hands high, left hands low, shift in. This is what we call lifting hands. Remember, I want to converge in the center like I'm pushing from the sides. Palm up, come down. And then a white crane. Straight down. Cup the ear. Brush knee. Okay, 
And that gives our black sashes, our lower black sashes, that newest section to detail and refine. The last movement we'll work on, we started with our higher black sashes, is gonna be shoot the tiger with the bow. So remember, after I do my final punch to the side, where we left off, I shift, open. Now, I, I want this to be very centered, so that when I come in for the kick, everything just comes right up the middle. I launch the right heel kick. I wanna set my toes down on the angle, and then fingertips point toward the arm. I step in straight to the side, shoot the tiger with the bow. Notice that my hands are lined up as if they were holding a pole. Fist out, fist twisted up. All right, we'll do that one more time. And I'll do that from a little different orientation. So from the punch, shift. My weight keeps going forward, keeps going forward until it rises up. Kick, toes on the angle, fingertips point to the forearm. Step out, but keep your weight back. Now, as you start to shift in with your technique is when you let your body go with it, okay? Shoot the tiger with the bow. So I hope that's helpful, black sashes, and of course, our purple and blue sashes as well. We'll be taking a chance over the course of the next few weeks to detail those techniques. Hope you guys have a great evening, and we look forward to seeing you next class.